Hey, what's up everyone? It's Jay here at The Aimless Cook and on today's episode, we're gonna be going back into the home kitchen. I'm gonna show you how to do a very essential recipe for Chinese home cooking. This one is for the egg and tomato. It is fantastic, it is cheap, it's easy to do. And better yet, I'm gonna show you two different ways to do it that changes the flavor profile so you almost get like two different dishes. But today we're gonna to serve ours on uh, like a Shanxi style noodle, which is like the wider noodle with the frilly edges, kind of like our handful noodles that we did before. Um, it's fantastic and you're gonna love it. We're gonna do it right now on the Aimless Cook. So we got some basic ingredients here, as you can see that you could probably just get it from your house right now. So we're gonna start with some fish sauce or soy sauce, we got sugar, we got our noodles, we got some eggs, some tomatoes, as well as some minced garlic. So the first thing we got here is we got three of these ripe hothouse tomatoes. Now making sure that these are really nice and plump. And this is the perfect recipe to make right now because it's summer and these things are in season. So I'm just going to cut those ends off and then we're just going to coarsely chop them up. Okay, I got my wok here on medium high heat and I'm just gonna add about a tablespoon of oil. And to that, I'm gonna add three cloves of minced garlic. Now when I do that, I'm gonna make sure that I'm starting with my oil, not very hot. It's gonna let it heat up as it cooks that uh, garlic nice and gently. And as I do that, I'm gonna stir that around. And then when I can start to smell that garlic, I'm going to add in all of those tomatoes. Okay, so we got our tomatoes going here. We're gonna keep it on the medium high heat and we're, our goal here is just to stir it around and make sure it gives up all of that liquid and break down completely. So this is just gonna take a few minutes. I gotta add a pinch of salt as well to get things going. So as you can see here from the close up, we're starting to kind of get there, which is fine. So what we're gonna do from there, if you need to add about a tablespoon of water and then we're gonna hit it with a cover. So after a while, we're gonna take that off and just look at to see how we're doing here. And I'm just gonna mash these down with the spatula. This is gonna get things going a little quicker here as we go. And at this point too, you wanna to give it a good stir and then pop that lid back on for the last few minutes. Okay, so we waited a few minutes taking that lid off and we're at a place where I like it. So it's looking saucy, yet we still have some chunks there, which is perfect. This is gonna be great with our eggs. So what I'm gonna do at this point is we're gonna add some seasoning here. And what I'm gonna add is some sugar. So I got a tablespoon of sugar here. And to that also, we're going to add two tablespoons of fish sauce. Now to that, you don't have to really add anything else. If you wanna add some white pepper, you can as well. We're just gonna make sure that is nice and seasoned. Now, if you wanna go the other route with this, you can replace the fish sauce with the soy sauce. You're gonna get a different flavor profile, but both are very delicious. I like the, so the, I like the fish sauce because it has a lot of umami and that kind of funky aspect to it, which is really good, especially when we're gonna be putting it on the noodles later. So I got that, everything's good to go. And we're just going to make sure all our flavors are blended together, our sugar is dissolved, and then I'm just going to take that off the heat and then I'm going to set it aside. But first, I got to add some herbs. So I'm just going to add a bit of uh, chives that I found in the garden as well as some cilantro. I'm going to stir it through and then we're going to set it aside. So I'm just going to boil up some noodles here and what I have are these uh, instant kind of uh, Shangxi style noodles. These are those wide noodles you can get at the Asian supermarket. Okay, so while my wok is back on the stove heating, I'm going to beat some eggs here. So I got four eggs, four large eggs, and then we're just going to cook those up really quickly here. Okay, so we got the wok again. We got it on medium heat, which is a little lower than we did last time. And to that, we're adding a lot of oil. So we got two tablespoons of oil here. And to that, we're going to add that bowl with our four beaten eggs. Now, cooking eggs is an art. Uh, this is gonna happen really fast. So you gotta make sure that you have your eye on the heat and you're controlling it at all times. This is one of those skills that I teach our line cooks first. 
because it is one of those things that it's that you have to learn really because it takes the longest to master eggs are very kind of a complex food in its simplicity so as you can see here i'm just going to keep everything moving as we go as you see our edges as they start to uh, harden i bring them into the center and then we just keep stirring and agitating just to make sure that the curd is smaller so my, what i'm trying to achieve here with the texture is we're trying to get something like custard and to that as you keep looking at it it, it starts to as it starts to set, you can see as it's starting to get a little bit more and more done. Now, as you see, it's still wet, at which point I'm gonna add our tomatoes. And at that point, we're just going to fold everything together. Now, as you can see there, everything still looks wet, custardy, which is exactly what you want. If it looks done in the pan, it's overdone. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna keep doing that for a couple more seconds here over the heat. And then once we are done there, we're gonna set it aside right away. So that was our recipe for our egg and tomato. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you take it with you, make it yours, and have fun in the kitchen, which brings me to my question of the day. What is your favorite seasonal produce and what is your favorite recipe to use it in? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share this video, and most of all, have fun. All right, stay safe, everyone, and we will see you next time. Thank you.